Did you know you could use calculus to find the volume of delicious foods? For example, angel food cake. The shape of angel food cake can be seen as a solid of rotation around the y-axis. We can divide it up into cylindrical shells that we integrate to find the volume. Here are four easy steps. We must first define a function. Second, we define the cylindrical slices we will integrate. Remember, each slice is infinitely thin. Now we rotate each slice around the y-axis. You can tell that summed up or integrated, the cylinders start to form a shape. Each revolution of a slice forms the circumference of a circle. Therefore, we will use 2 pi when we integrate. The next step is to find our zeros or our limits of integration. Here, we will call the lower one a and the upper one b. Now that we have all of our components, we can integrate or take the integral from a to b of 2 pi f of x dx. Because it's a constant, 2 pi can be moved outside of the integral. It turns out that the function negative cosine x models our angel food cake pretty well. If we call f of x negative cosine x, the zeros turn out to be pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. If we set up our integral again, we can solve the original volume question. Negative 2 pi times the integral of pi over 2 to 3 pi over 2 of cosine dx equals angel food goodness. Another look at using shells to integrate a solid shows us that if we unwind each slice, we have an infinitely thin volume that is easier to comprehend. The length of each unwound slice is the circumference at x and the height at f of x.